Welcome my friends, I'm Miroslav and today we're gonna to be making ice cream balls. You're gonna need four cups of cooking oil, one cup water, quarter cup butter, half a teaspoon salt, one teaspoon vanilla, two tablespoons brown sugar, one tablespoon cinnamon, one cup flour, six tablespoons sugar, and four eggs. We're gonna start by making pastry. Add in a frying pan butter, Add brown sugar, add salt, and at the end add water. And keep mixing it until it boils, then add flour. and then mix it really well. Then take it off the stove and let it cool down for about 15 minutes so we don't fry the eggs. Then we're gonna add mixing it one egg at a time. and then add vanilla. And then keep mixing it until it becomes consistent. This is what it's supposed to look like. The easiest way to add this in a piping bag is to spread plastic wrap. Dump the whole thing in the middle Then roll it in and close one side of it. Then the open side slide it in towards the front. Then just squeeze the bag. I use the rubber muffin mold, but if you're using metal muffin mold, then turn the muffin tin upside down, spray it thoroughly with nonstick cooking spray Pipe the bag around the inverted cups in spiral to form the bowl. As soon as you're done, immediately transfer the tray to the freezer and freeze it until solid, at least three hours, maybe even overnight. 
remove the muffin tin from the freezer and flex it to release the bowl. You may need to also use the butter knife under the bottom edge to initially release them. Heat up oil in deep pot about 350 degrees. Fry them in a batch until nicely brown, about three to five minutes at a time. And make sure you turn them so they fry evenly. And make sure you regulate your heat so it doesn't get too hot, otherwise they're going to be burned outside and stay raw inside. Once the desired color is reached, remove them from the oil to a paper towel lined dish. Now you can take a Ziploc bag add sugar and add cinnamon and then shake it to mix it all up once it's mixed add all of the ice cream balls in and shake it again so everything gets coated evenly and you're ready to serve just add the ice cream on top and if you desire you can put chocolate and caramel toppings. Enjoy. I hope you enjoy cooking with me. Please click like, and if you're new to this channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.